Hello, I am Macy Musso, and it is day one in Costa Rica. The whole tour began at 3 o'clock in the morning when we left to go to our super early flight. And once we got to Logan Airport, that's where we met up with the students that we're traveling with, the Cambridge Ridge Latin School, and also our group leaders. Today was an interesting day here in Costa Rica because we got to experience some of what the wildlife is like here, the biodiversity. I think my favorite part of the day was seeing a lot of the cool biodiversity, a lot of the trees that they have here. We got to see some interesting creatures, including the sloth, which I am in love with. And we got to hear some birds and monkeys and see them compete with the sounds I can do. Probably the best thing about today was stopping at the waterfall. Um, I think that uh, you see pictures of waterfalls all the time and you think they're really amazing, but you never really grasp it until you go and see it in person. And then you realize just like how magnificent it is. And it really is like pretty overwhelming, like the crashing of the water, um, the scenery around it, kind of like the sheer cliffs covered in like slippery, um, like slippery plants. And uh, the whole thing is like really just kind of it's amazing. I think I'd have to say my favorite part though was going to the school with in a really rural area with a bunch of like I think third to sixth grade, first to sixth graders, and we played soccer with them and that isn't something I've been looking forward to all trip. And it was just really fun to play with these kids. Some of them were really talented. It was, it was just a lot of fun. This, this is the most fun I've had in a, in a long time. <laughs> One of my favorite things we've done so far is going to the Rancho Margot, um, and here we saw a lot of how how Costa Rica works in terms of self-sufficiency. Um, they have a lot of different you know, farm animals and a lot of different ecosystems working in the same place and kind of keeping the one place run by all the you know all the elements of nature, which I thought was really cool to see. And it was you know it, it was really well organized and it was a beautiful place. So seeing that was, was one of my favorite things so far. Does anybody know why we're here? Yes or no? See why? To plant trees. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna take this boat out to that island, and we're gonna shovel some sediment onto buckets and bring that over here. Well, basically, what we're doing is helping with the reforestation program. Just to remind you, it began uh, two years ago, and the community of Palo Seco really needs uh, to be started back mangrove because the entire area being affected because uh, tide and also destruction of the mangrove area. Okay. Took some of these uh, baby mangroves and we kind of plant them over there. Um, the water was coming up though so we couldn't get too many. Later in the afternoon, as you lunch, see over there, there's uh, some that are starting to come up right on the shore. So. So the trying to work. replant a mangrove here. That's, that's our main mission over, over here. Yeah. Alright, so we're at the summit right now. It's pretty loud. Yeah, we're about to see Jane Goodall. It's very exciting. Yeah. Perhaps even more important is the fact that each one of us can leave a lighter ecological footprint every single day. And more and more people are beginning to understand that. And to understand that even tiny little choices which seem so insignificant when you look at it against the world out there, cumulatively, they can make a huge difference and move us towards the sort of world that we all want. So we're here uh, wandering around looking at all these different projects and I, I'm just kind of amazed at people having like great ideas that all sort of come together really well and people executing their presentations and it's just really cool to walk around and see. So far, um, I presented for about 40 minutes enough to lose my voice and I made sure everyone got a good understanding of what I said but I also went around and saw that everyone has amazing ideas. Definitely we have so many creative minds here at the summit. 
So to wrap up the trip, we are writing a little um, guideline of what we did the entire week so that we can remember it. Okay. Right here, right My words here. to describe this trip were homeland, Pura Vida is happiness, conservation, inspiring, nature, green, friendship, sustainable future, openness, change.